Get back here! I need to hide! I gotcha! Wait, Emily? Ugh, what, Mason? Emily? Did you just rob me? I just stole some Robux. But I thought you loved me! I'm your boyfriend! Yeah, I do, okay? I just needed the Robux. I can't believe you! You broke my trust! All you care about is money. Not true! I need to go back into your house. I think I left my phone there. Are you kidding me? We have been robbed! Mason, thank goodness! I can't believe you did this to us! Just stop, Mason. What is going on here? Don't get mad, but Emily robbed us! How could you? I need my phone. Get out of my house! Ah! Mason, your mom is crazy! Mom, just calm down! Mason, she is not welcome here anymore! You guys just need to talk! Whatever, I'm over this. Fine, whatever. I am so disappointed in you! I thought Emily really loved me. Hey, I saw what happened. Pretty messed up, huh? Why are you with her? Because she's so cool and out of my league. You need someone who respects you. She does. You don't understand her. Look, I'm just telling you as a friend, you deserve more. Well, I appreciate that. It's been a long night. I gotta get some sleep. See ya. Man, what Emily did was horrible, but I think we just need to talk it out. Maybe all of it can just get sorted that way. Hey, Mason, so glad you wanted to talk. Whoa, where did you get all that stuff? It's none of your business. A store, duh. Well, I think it is my business, actually. There's no way you can afford that. Yo, that shirt is so sick. I thought it was on sale for like $3,000. See, you probably just used that money that you stole, didn't you? Mason, it really breaks my heart that all you care about is money. It's not fair, okay? How is any of this my fault? Because all you care about is stupid money. I don't even know if I want to be with you anymore. Same goes to you too. Ugh, you're so annoying. I just can't believe Emily. How could she use me like this? Especially when she told me that she actually liked me. It's just all for nothing. I just need to take my mind off of it. Maybe a good meal will help my mood. Oh, oh, Megan. I'm so sorry I didn't see you. Oh, hey, Mason. Are you okay? I've been thinking about the other night. You were so upset. Yeah, I think I'm all right. A lot happened and I learned I can't trust everyone. But hey, don't let it ruin your trust in absolutely everyone. Not everyone's that bad, you know? Maybe one day you'll meet the right person. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, you're right. Well, hey, since we bumped into each other here, do you want to grab a bite to eat together? Sure, yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. I'll go order. Oh my gosh, Emily is going to freak out when she hears about this. <laughs> what? He is already dating another girl? Are you kidding me? And they're like totally in love. It's crazy. I can't believe this. This is insane. How could he do this after he broke my heart? Oh! Whoa, 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 girl, just calm down. You have to think smart about this. Take your anger out on Mason, not the beautiful clothes here. <sighs> Maybe you're right. He's a good for nothing jerk that deserves the worst. Uh, ladies, is there anything I can help you with over here? No! Get out of my face! Unless you can fix my relationship, I don't want to see you near me. Ah! You know what, Rebecca? He is going to regret his decisions. Mark my words. Wait, is that Emily? What is she doing here? Emily, you shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh, Mason. I'm so glad you're home. Look, I really want to talk to you. What could you possibly want to talk to me about? You've been nothing but horrible to me. Uh, I want to apologize and talk it out, you know? Ah, uh, fine. But just make it quick. No, Emily is there. Poor Mason. So what do you want to talk about? If my mom finds out you're here, she's going to flip. Maybe we can talk somewhere else then. Like the backyard? All right, that's fine. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Before we go, I just really have to go to the restroom real quick. I like chugged a water right before coming. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll meet you in the backyard then. Gosh, what's taking her so long? It doesn't take that long to go to the bathroom, right? Wait, what's that noise? Emily? <laughs> what are you doing? Rebecca, start the car. Come on, let's go. You see, Mason, this is what you get. You're a cheater. A cheater? I can't believe I just fell for that. Mason, are you kidding me? You just let her walk in. That girl's a robber, a thief, and you fell for it twice. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. Sorry won't cut it this time, mister. We lost most of our life savings now. I know we did, especially now that she robbed us twice. But I'm going to do what I can to get a job and help make up for it, okay? No, enough is enough. I can't trust you. you got to get out of my house. What? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but you need to leave. You have the rest of the day to pack up your things and get out. I 
cannot have a thief living in my home. Can my mom really just kick me out? What am I gonna do? Hey, Megan, can we talk for a second? Oh, yeah, what's up? Well, I just really need a friend right now. Things are rough. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a creep, but I just heard your mom kick you out. Really sorry. I mean, that's not even the worst of it. What happened? How did this all start? Emily stole from us again. Are you surprised, Mason? You know that girl is no good. I don't know. She just seemed really upset. Like we should have talked it out. Emily's always been so mean for as long as I can remember. She's always been mean? Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't told you? No, you haven't. Well, there's a lot that you need to be filled in on. <laughs> Amazing job, Emily. Yeah, I know. That was pretty easy, right? But I don't know. I guess I kind of feel bad. Are you being nice? Do you have feelings? Ooh, give me the Robux. Here, take them. Oh my gosh. Wait, did you like even count this? Yeah, it's a lot of money. No, it's not. They're so poor. It's only 2,000 Robux. Wow, I thought you were like a real deal thief. Well, that's all the Robux that I could take. Honestly, you're acting like a loser right now. There had to have been more. You're just not good at this. Hey, leave me alone. I did the best I could. <sighs> Whatever. You know what? Maybe you should get going because I have better friends who are coming over right now and like leave. You're kicking me out? I thought we were gonna hang out. Yeah, no, I. We were like the best of friends. She used to be the nicest girl in school. Then I don't really know what happened because she was always polite and respectful and fun. We were like sisters almost. Wow, Emily was actually nice? Yeah, but she didn't really fit in with anyone. Some rich kids bullied her because she wasn't as rich as them. That's horrible. I can't believe that actually happened. I know, and she brushed it off at first, but eventually she started bullying me and she took all of my Robux out of fear that I was just being friends with her and make fun of her. That sounds horrible. I feel bad for Emily, but she also didn't have to treat you like this either. And I told her a million times that I just wanted to be her friend, but she didn't care. I just never knew she went through something like that. This explains a whole lot. Man, I've got to find Emily. I searched all over town. This is the last place to check. There she is. Hey, Emily, can we talk? About what? Look, I just want to talk. Can we please? About what? I can't give you the Robux back. It's not about that. It's about your so-called friends. What are you talking about? They're all just rich snobs, aren't they? They don't treat you well at all. How do you know that? How do I know what? About you getting bullied all those years ago and never telling me? I, I didn't want anyone to know. Just leave me alone. Emily, wait up! I'm not going anywhere. Look, just because you were bullied and couldn't trust anyone then doesn't mean that everyone you'll know in your whole life will treat you the exact same way. You don't know anything, Mason. You don't know what you're talking about. You can deny it all you want, but at the end of the day, I know that you deserve much better than those horrible people. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know me. You don't know my life, so just leave me alone. Wow, it's such a beautiful night. Loser, I want to talk to you. Hi, Emily. <laughs> it's nice to see you too. What are you doing here? I know that you told Mason about my past. Well, I thought he needed to know that we used to be friends until you chose to hang out with those awful people who only have used you. They make fun of you all the time. You're just jealous. You don't understand. You wish you had friends like that. No, I don't. They're really awful. They're just using you, Emily. You're a good person. I know it. Well, they're cool and I just want to fit in, okay? So whatever. You shouldn't care about trying to fit in and making other people happy. You need to be yourself and hanging out with fake friends won't make you happy. What? It's true. They only like to have you around so they can boss you around and real friends don't make you feel bad about yourself. They don't put you down. I, I guess. I don't know. Emily, I've known you for so long. You deserve better. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe these aren't the right friends for me. Yeah, well, I told my mom my Tesla was outdated, and I totally deserve a cyber truck. Honestly, you deserve like two cyber trucks. I'll be taking this. <gasps> um, what are you doing, Emily? Why are you here? You weren't invited. You know what? I don't care. I realized something. I'm not her friend, and I'm not gonna keep pretending to be someone just so I can be liked by you fake people. <gasps> How dare you? You're calling me fake? 
Did you hear that? Unbelievable. I'm going to tweet about this right now. And you know what, Rebecca? I hope that you can learn from this. Because pretending to be better than other people is not okay. And I'm leaving. Emily! Emily, get back here right now! Oh my gosh, Emily! I can't believe this! The nerve! Wow, that actually just happened. Look, Mom, I'm really sorry, but I've been working really hard at my new job, and I got a lot of the money back. Wow, Mason, I'm really proud of you. I'm sorry I overreacted. I should have never kicked you out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What is she doing here? You need to leave right now before I call the cops, Missy. No, no, please. Just wait a second. I'm here to return all this. Here. Wait, Emily, is that is that the money that you took from us? Yeah, it's all the Robux that I stole. And I've been doing a lot of thinking. You're right, Mason. I deserve better. I deserve good people around me. So I want to apologize to you. I'm being adopted by my ex-girlfriend's family? Mom, Dad, no. Please, come on. You can't be serious. Oh, we're serious, Olivia. Yes, darling. After what happened to his parents, we know he has nowhere else to go. We can't leave him like this. Kyle's a great kid. He deserves more than living in the orphanage. Exactly. And that's why we'll be adopting him. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. It's just a dream again. Kyle, are you awake? I'll be right there. What is it, Mrs. Smith? Kyle, I was wondering if you could give me a hand, please? Yeah, of course. Thank you. I'm making this wonderful dinner and Olivia's nowhere to be found. <laughs> She's not really great in the kitchen anyway. That's okay. I actually love cooking. What? You do? Oh, that's fantastic. Olivia, this is absolutely outrageous. I think I should go check this out. Make sure Olivia's okay. Is everything all right out here? No, actually nothing's all right. Well, we can hear you guys arguing from inside. Just shut up and watch your mouth, loser. Yeah, Kyle, this isn't really about you. Ryan and I are just having a disagreement. So can you just like mind your own business? Kind of hard when you guys are just shouting at the top of your lungs. What did you just say? Dude, just back off, okay? Ha ha, I'm not gonna back off, you stupid loser. Ow. You don't belong here in this house. You should just move out. Oh man, I can't believe it. Another zombie attack in space movie? <laughs> I haven't seen these since I was a kid. Yeah, it looked pretty fun. Thanks for taking me out to the movies, Mr. Smith. Of course, Kyle. After everything that you went through, I figured you'd need this to, you know, lift up your spirits. I appreciate it, but I'm fine. I know what it's like to lose your parents. Both mine passed away a long time ago. I know how much it hurts, so... I hope this just helps you feel better. Thanks again, Mr. Smith. Dad, what are you doing with Kyle? Olivia, I was just taking Kyle out to the movies. Dad, but why wouldn't you take me? I'm your daughter. Well, you've been saying how you want nothing to do with Kyle, so... Well, yeah, I don't, but I'm your daughter. You should be spending time with me. Maybe this wasn't a good idea, Mr. Smith. No, absolutely not. Olivia's just being dramatic. No, I'm not, Dad. Kyle's not even a part of our family. Hey, you better watch it, young lady. No, she's right. I think I'll just leave. Wow. I had no idea Olivia had such a big family. Thanksgiving's never felt like this before. I mean, now I don't even have my own family. Kyle, honey, is everything okay? Uh, I think I just need a minute. But, K Kyle! <laughs> Mom and dad are gone. <laughs> this is the most pain I've ever felt in my life. I feel so alone. Kyle, are you crying? Yeah. I am. Is everything okay? No, Olivia, it's not okay. My life just doesn't feel real anymore. <laughs> My gosh, you're so dramatic. Like, get over it. Like, I'm supposed to just get over my parents being gone. You have no idea what it's like. Yeah, and no one in here really cares because we're all trying to have a good time. So why don't you just go? You know what? Fine, I will go. I'm sorry for ruining your perfect holiday, Olivia. If they don't want me here, fine. I won't be around them anymore. Kyle, what are you doing? I'm leaving. Just get out of my way. Oh, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. What happened? It was Olivia, wasn't it? It most definitely was. We're putting an end to it. Olivia! Olivia, get down here! 
Uh, yeah? You have been absolutely awful to Kyle the past few days. Yes, you need to apologize to him. No, I'm not going to apologize until he does. Listen, Olivia, I'm sorry it didn't work out between us, and I'm sorry I hurt you, okay? But I don't have a choice where I'm living now, now that my family is gone. That's right. Kyle really needs some help right now, and he is a good person. Yes, Olivia, find a little kindness in your heart. Why should I? I don't feel like it. Young lady, you need to get used to Kyle living here because he's not going anywhere. Hey, Mrs. Smith, what's going on? Kyle, I got a little surprise for you. What? This is for me? Yes, it's a brand new car. We're proud of you for getting a job. Wow, this is a really big gift. Well, you deserve it. You need a way to get to work, don't you? I do. I'm used to just walking everywhere, though. Well, now you don't have to. Mom? What's this new car? Oh, it's a little something for Kyle. What? No, are you serious? You bought my ex-boyfriend a car? Yes, he needed a little encouragement. Are you serious? He needed encouragement, so you dropped like thousands of dollars on a new car? This is ridiculous, he is not even family. This isn't fair. Oh boy. Maybe you should take back the car. No, it, it'll be fine. But Olivia seemed so upset. That's fine. She'll get over it. We're happy for you, Kyle. What do you mean he hasn't left yet? Olivia, you're living with your ex-boyfriend. Yeah, it's not really my ideal situation, but I have to deal with it. I think your parents like him more than they like me, and I'm your boyfriend. I don't know what to do. I can't help that. There's only one thing you can do, Olivia, and that's to move out. Move out? But where would I go? I don't know. You'll be able to figure it out. I can't really just figure it out. I mean, I don't want to leave my family. Olivia, you have to choose. You can either be happy with me or be miserable with your ex-boyfriend and your family. Olivia, what's going on? Well, hope you're happy. I'm moving out. What? You're just moving out? Where are you going to go? Yeah, did I stutter? I'm leaving here. You're ruining my life. Olivia, you're being irrational. No, you broke up my family. Olivia, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. This is all your fault, Kyle. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> she just left. What do you mean she just left? She's gone. She moved out. She doesn't want to be here anymore. But why? She didn't even say goodbye to us. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I'm really sorry. All of this is my fault. You know what, Kyle? You might be right. Maybe this kind of is your fault. Everything was fine. Olivia seemed really happy until Kyle came back in the picture. Jim, you don't mean it. My daughter just moved out of my house without even saying goodbye to me. I can't even stand looking at you, Kyle. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. I'm sorry. I think I just need to go. Kyle, no. This isn't your fault. Clearly, it is my fault, Mrs. Smith. I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I need to go. Kyle? Ki Kyle, wait! Kyle, what are you doing here? I just came here to tell you, you should go back home. No, leave me alone. Listen, I'm sorry for everything, okay? I'm sorry for coming back into your life and causing stress with your family. I know why you don't want to be around me. I'm glad you finally realized you ruined my life. I didn't do it on purpose, okay, Olivia? I'm really, really sorry. Well, sorry doesn't fix what you've done, okay? I'm leaving your parents' house. You should go back home and be with them. Hmm. Well, maybe if you promise to never come back. Olivia, what's going on? What is Kyle doing here? He's here to apologize for ruining my life. You've hurt Olivia enough, Kyle. You should just get out of here. I'm really sorry for everything, Olivia. I'm sorry for being a bother and ruining your life. Bye, loser. See you never. Mom, Dad, I miss you guys so much. I really wish you were here. I feel so lost without you. And I have no one now. I'm just on my own. Hey, Kyle. Olivia, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. I, I was too harsh. I know you're going through a rough time right now, and I shouldn't be this way. I feel like my head is just being thrown against a thousand walls, you know? Yeah, I can't even really imagine. But then I came into your life and started ruining things with your family. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty awkward situation. I know, it was weird, but I didn't really have a choice. They just wanted to help me. I shouldn't have been so worked up. 
You do get kind of worked up sometimes. Well, look, can we call a truce? I'd really like that. I honestly miss being your friend, Olivia. Yeah, maybe we should try this whole friends thing. Ugh, Ryan, what do you want? I want you to stay away from my girlfriend. What are you even talking about? I know you're trying to get back together with her. No, I'm not. Trust me, Olivia and I don't belong together. That's right, you don't. And you don't belong in her family either. Dude, just leave me alone, okay? You're a nobody and you have nobody. Literally no one cares about you. How does that feel? No, just shut up, okay? It's not true. You don't have a real family anymore. I do have a real family and I can have a new family too. You know what, Kyle? I hate you so much. Well, I don't really like you either, Ryan. I wanted to do this for a long time. You've had this coming. Stop it. Oh, shut up. Olivia, what are you doing? Are we going on vacation or something? No, I'm leaving. No way, you're not leaving. Yeah. I am, Ryan. I heard about what you did. What? I beat up your pathetic ex-boyfriend? It was easy. Yeah, exactly that. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why are you siding with Kyle? I'm not siding with Kyle. You don't just beat people up. I hate Kyle and his stupid, ugly face. He deserved everything that was coming to him. You know what? I'm done with you. We're breaking up. Seriously? You want to break up with me? Yeah, and it's not because of Kyle. I hate the way you treat everyone around you. Whatever, Olivia. I never really loved you in the first place. Your parents are so happy that you're home now, Olivia. I know, it, it's great. I'm happy to be back. Well, I think then it's time for me to go. But where are you gonna go? Well, I've been working really hard and I saved enough money. I think I can get my own place. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate your family helping me get back on my feet, but I can do this on my own now. Steven, let's go in here. They have the new phone. Well, hey there, guys. Can I help you find anything? Is this the brand new iPhone? Yes, it is. This is like the rarest one. It's super, super expensive. Yeah, I mean, you already have a phone. I don't think that you need another one. But I want the new phone. Come on, please. Well, why don't you pay for it if you want it so bad? No, you're my boyfriend. You're supposed to buy me everything. But I, I don't have enough money for this phone. Well, there are payment plans. I mean, you don't have to spend it all at once. Yeah, but even that, it's so expensive. I don't know, I just can't afford it, I'm sorry. Well, I guess you don't love me then. I never said that, I just said I can't afford the phone. Yes, you can, I know you can. Come on, you've been working all those hours. Please, I really need this phone. You're acting so spoiled, why don't you stop? Me, stop? No, I want it. Oh, look, look, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I can't, I can't spend the money. You're the worst boyfriend ever! Ha, oh, Chris, how was your weekend, man? Did you have a good time? It was fine until Becky flipped out on me again. Really? I can't believe that, man. She does that all the time. Why do you even put up with her? Because I really love her, okay? Oh, man. She just treats you so badly. No, she doesn't, Mark. Come on. You're just exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. She's a spoiled brat, man. Hey, don't talk about my girlfriend like that, okay? What? I'm just trying to tell you how it is, okay? I mean, somebody's got to say it, man. Jeez. You just don't understand her, man, okay? She's really complicated and deep, and she's so interesting. 
Nope, she's just a bead person. Dude, come on, stop saying that. Well, I'll stop saying it when it stops being true. Man, you're such a jerk sometimes. Look, I don't mean to get you all riled up, okay? I'm your friend. I'm supposed to tell you how I feel. Yeah, I guess that's true. But I still don't believe you. I don't think you're right. Ugh, look, man, I'm done arguing about this, all right? You want to play some video games or what? Yeah, it sounds good. Man, I can't wait for my shift to be over. This is so boring. There's nobody in the store. Hi, Steven. Oh, Becky. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I'm thirsty and I missed you. So I figured I'd come in and say hi. Oh, I'm so glad it's been dead in here. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, of course. Now, aren't you going to ask me what I want to drink? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What do you want? I want a four-pump mocha, three-pump caramel iced coffee, please. Okay, uh, yeah, that'll be four fifty. <laughs> Steven, you're really funny. What? But that's how much it costs. Not when you're dating the barista. What, you think I'm going to give you this for free? Uh, yeah. Becky, that's stealing. I could get fired, not to mention it's wrong. But I'm your girlfriend and I'm thirsty, so I think you should give me the drink. I can give you like a cup of water, that's free, but I'm not gonna give you stuff for free just because you want it. Well then you should pay for it then. I don't wanna pay for it. Ugh, whatever, you need a better job anyway. I don't need a better job, I have one. If you want so many things, maybe you should get a job. No, I don't want a job, and I don't need one. You can buy me whatever I want, remember? What? No, I can't. I don't make that much money. What do you think, I'm a millionaire? Ugh, this is a boring conversation. I'm leaving. Okay, well, are you at least excited for our anniversary tomorrow? Yeah, I guess so. Man, Becky is so late. Where is she? It's been like an hour. Hi, Steven. Becky, finally, I thought you weren't gonna show up. Why wouldn't I show up? It's our anniversary. But I am a little mad. Why would you take me to this place? It's gross. It's not gross. The food's good. And I thought it would be nice. This is where we had our first date. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember, and all I can remember is how gross the food was and only poor people were eating it. Ugh, I don't want to be here at all. We had fun that night. What are you talking about? What's gotten into you lately? Nothing. Ugh, now are you going to give me a present or what? Yeah, I think you're really going to like it. It's the new phone I wanted, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to text all my friends on it. What did you get me? Let me see. Look, I told you I didn't. I couldn't get you the phone. I... That phone costs more than what I make in like three months. I just couldn't do it. So no phone? Ugh, I can't believe it. Why would you do this to me? Well, I got you the perfume that you said you wanted. Oh, real nice. What are you trying to say that I smell? You're the worst boyfriend ever. I can't believe this. I, ugh, I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't believe it! How could she do this to me? On our anniversary! Stephen, honey, you're home! Oh my goodness, what's wrong? You've been crying! Mom, I had the worst night ever. Becky flipped out on me because I wouldn't get her the new phone for our anniversary and she left. She showed up an hour late for dinner and then she didn't even stay. I can't believe that girl. She is such a brat. Oh, she hasn't earned a single thing in her life. I, I can't believe she had to act that way and treat my son that way. But mom, I love her. 
Well, honey, sometimes love is not enough. She needs to treat you with respect. That's what Mark said too, but I don't know. You guys just don't know her, okay? Everybody thinks she's so spoiled and mean, but she's not. I don't know, sweetie. You're awfully nice to her, and I don't see her being nice to you whatsoever. I doubt she even loves you, and it really hurts me to say that. I know, Mark keeps saying I should just break up with her, but I don't think I can, Mom. I don't know, sweetie. I really think Mark is right on this one. She's not a nice girl. I just don't know what to do. Steven, it's almost time for you to walk me to class. Uh, what? Yeah, come on, remember? You walk me to every class, and it's time for class, so let's go. Uh, actually, I kind of want to talk to you about something. No, first, you have to give me lunch money, because remember, it's almost lunch period, and I'm really getting hungry. No, I'm not giving you anything else, okay? Look, this isn't working for me, Becky. I, I just don't think we should be together. Wait, what? What do you mean? You treat me terribly. All you do is ask me for stuff. You don't care about me. You just want stuff. Seriously? That's what you think of me? I just want stuff? No! I want a boyfriend that loves me, and clearly you don't. That's not true. I love you, but you don't care about me. Liar. You're just a liar. You don't understand anything. You know what? This is exactly what I don't need. I'm done. No, I'm done. You're a loser anyway. I never wanted to date you in the first place. I just felt sorry for you. Never talk to me again. <music> Tiffany, you'll never believe it. Stephen broke up with me. <laughs> well, I'm surprised he didn't break up with you sooner. We. Oui. What? What is that supposed to mean? Well, Becky, it's not really like you're nice to him, and he's a really nice guy. He treats you so well, and you're just always yelling at him. No, that's not true. I'm not just yelling at him all the time. Yeah, it is, and you ask him to buy you stuff all the time, too. Like, you never just are normal. You're just always yelling and asking for things. Well, isn't that what people are supposed to do when they love you? That's what my parents do. When I want something, they get it for me. And then they tell me that they love me. So they just hand me more things. Uh, no, Becky, that's not really how the world works. I don't know. Maybe you should try to get a job and, and buy your own things and stop being so spoiled. You know what? <laughs> that's a great idea. Then I'm going to prove everyone wrong. I'm going to show them that I'm actually a nice person. And, and they're just jealous. That's all. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go over to the grocery store and uh, I'll see if they're hiring. What can I do for you? Hi, um, can you hire me? What, uh, do you have any job experience or anything? We are actually looking for somebody. No, I've never worked before. Well, then why do you want to work here? Well, I guess it's because I want to learn that I need to earn my own things and make my own money. I don't know, it just seemed like a good idea. Huh. You know what? I actually like that. It's true, you should learn how to make your own money. I mean, I started working when I was your age, and now I manage seven grocery stores. Seven grocery stores? Whoa, that's a lot. Hmm, maybe one day I'll manage like 20 of them. Well, let's hope so. Look, I like your attitude. I'll give you a shot. You can start tomorrow. Oh, perfect. I can't wait. This working thing sounds fun. Okay, sir, so your total is 1745. 
What? Excuse me for chips, grapes, and a banana? That is absurd, lady. I am not paying that. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you picked all organic things and they're kind of expensive. Who are you, my accountant? No, you don't get to tell me what I picked and what I didn't pick. This is ridiculous. I need a manager right now. I can't believe this. This is the worst service I've ever gotten in my whole life. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but there's probably nothing my manager can do either. I mean, the items rang up at their price and we don't make the rules. Manager! Manager! Yeah, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I'm not paying that much for those items. This is ridiculous. Your store is robbing me. Well, that's how much they cost. So you're really not gonna do anything for me? Yeah, I'll do something for you. Get out of my store. What? Really? How dare you? That's right. I don't need no spoiled brats in here yelling at my employees. Now get out. I don't care about you $17. Oh my goodness. That guy was crazy. Yeah, he was real terrible. I just can't believe people can act like that. You know what? I hate to say it, but I used to act just like that customer. Just screaming and wanting to get my way all the time. I can't believe it. Well, it's a good thing that you learn from your mistakes. It's a lot better to hang out with you now than when you were like that guy. Well, hey, here's your first paycheck. Wow, thanks so much. I can't believe it. I actually earned my own money. This feels good. What are you going to spend it on? I know exactly the thing. Becky, what are you doing here? Oh, Steven, I really want to talk to you. Look, I'm really sorry for the way I was acting. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty terrible. I'm, I'm actually really surprised that you said that, though. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I mean, I finally got a taste of my own medicine. I was at work the other day, and this spoiled guy came in and just started screaming, and I kind of had a flashback and remembered that's how I was acting. And I'm really sorry for that. I can't believe it. I'm the worst. Whoa, 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 you got a job? Yeah, at the grocery store. Wow, you really have changed. I'm proud of you. Yeah, and with my first paycheck, here, I have something for you. Oh my gosh, it's a portable gaming system? I've wanted one of these forever. I know, and I was so excited to buy it for you. And I really miss you, Steven. Again, I'm so sorry. It's okay, and I really miss you too. I hate being apart. So maybe, do you want to give us another chance? I'd love to go back out with you again. Yeah, I'd really love that too. Yes, let's, let's try to work on this. I think we should be together again. Oh man, I'm so excited to go on my date with Riley. I really like her. I mean, I think I'm starting to fall in love with her. I've had a crush on her since we were little kids. Now that we're in high school, it's like, oh man, I don't know. She could be the one. Hey, Riley. Riley? Hey, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, but aren't you missing something? Uh, no. What's up? Where are my flowers? What, what flowers? What are you talking about? Well, we're going on a date, stupid. Shouldn't you be bringing me flowers? We've been together for like a year. I mean, I don't need to bring you flowers every time that we hang out. So what you're trying to tell me is that you have nothing for me and you expect me to just go out on this date with you now? Yeah, don't you want to spend time with me? You know what, Patrick? You seriously just don't get it. I'm good. I'm going to go read a book or something. Wait, R Riley, wait! Oh, man... Oh, hey, Sean. What's up? Oh, not too much, Patrick. What's going on with you? 
I don't know. I just left Riley's house. We were supposed to go out on a date, man, but she was just so mean to me. I don't understand what's going on. She started yelling at me about not having flowers for her. Dude, I don't know why you even date that girl. She's awful to you. You just don't know her like I do. Sometimes she just gets in like this weird mood and she can be mean, that's all. Look, man, I don't want to tell you this, but I feel like I kind of have to. What? What's going on? Look, there's a rumor that she's been cheating on you. What? What are you talking about cheating on me? Yeah, I heard that she was cheating on you with Chad. How did you hear this? What are you talking about? There's no way that she's cheating on me. Look, man, everybody at school knows about it. You're the only one that does it. Come on, man. Stop messing around. It's not funny. Look, I'm not messing around, dude. I'm telling you right now, she's cheating on you. What me and Riley have is something special, okay? You guys just don't understand. All right, well, maybe it's just a rumor, man. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm just going to go and ask her. I'm just going to go find out what her deal is. That's all. And I'm going to get the whole thing cleared up, and you'll see that Riley isn't cheating on me. All right, good luck, man. Riley, hey, I need to talk to you. Yeah? What's going on? Look, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Are you cheating on me? What? Me? Cheat? No! Why would you think that? <sighs> Man, there's a rumor going around that you're cheating on me with Chad. I mean, Sean told me, and a bunch of other people told Sean, and I've been asking other people, and they say that it's all true. You're seriously gonna believe a rumor and not your own girlfriend? That's really messed up, Patrick. Look, I, I guess I'm just being stupid. I'm sorry, I just... You're just so awesome, and I just don't get why you'd want to be with me, I guess. Why wouldn't I want to be with you? Patrick, you're so awesome. You're the best boyfriend ever. And you just can't believe all these rumors. They're nothing but that. A stupid rumor. I knew it wasn't true. I'm sorry I was so insecure. I just... Whatever, let's just forget about it. Yeah, good idea. You know what, Patrick? I hate to ask you this, but I really need some money for a new purse. Do you think you could loan me a few dollars? Um, yeah, I guess. Do you want me to come with you and we can pick the purse out together? Uh, no. No, that's fine. <laughs> I know how much you hate stores. The money alone will be good. All right, anything for you. No worries. Riley, I can't believe Patrick is so stupid. He gave you a bunch of money, and he didn't even know that you were cheating on him? <laughs> yeah, he's an idiot. He doesn't understand anything. I'm shocked he can even tie his own shoes. Yeah, I know. And hey, you know what? I'm glad that he gave you the money, because I didn't want to have to pay for the purse. I know, right? <laughs> but Chad, you promise you can't tell anyone that we're together. Yeah, I promise, but I mean, like, why don't you just dump Sean soon anyway? He's, like, such a loser. Yeah, I mean, I probably should soon, but I don't know. I just kind of feel bad for the loser. I know. It's like you don't even like him anyway. What? Riley? What are you doing here with Chad? Uh, um, hey, Sean. Nothing. We were just studying. Uh, yeah, studying for the big test. Doesn't look like you were studying. Hey, why don't you mind your business, Sean? This doesn't concern you. Yeah, whatever. I can't believe you would do this to my friend. Uh, Patrick, Patrick, we gotta talk, man. What, what happened, Sean? <sighs> Dude, I'm sorry, okay? Riley's lying to you. This again, dude, I told you we talked earlier. Everything's fine. Yeah, well, I just saw her with Chad at the coffee shop. Wait, really? Look, man, it didn't seem right, okay? Why would she be with him? She told you she was going to buy a new purse today, remember? Oh, man, you're right. I don't know. I mean, I have to believe her, though. I mean, she says she isn't lying. Look, man, I saw what I saw, okay? And I'm just trying to be a good friend here. I mean, I don't know, Sean. I mean, you've been so weird about this whole thing the entire time. Maybe you like Riley. I don't like Riley. Are you kidding me? She's gross. I mean, sorry. Yeah, that's my girlfriend you're talking about. She's not gross. Well, her personality's gross, man, okay? 
<sighs> Sean, you're so frustrating. You're frustrating. I'm trying to help you, Patrick. Stop being so stupid. Can't you see this girl doesn't like you? I mean, my gosh, man. Have some self-respect. You know what? I'm just going to go over to her house and I'm going to prove you wrong. If she's with Chad, he'll probably be there. And I'm telling you right now, she's not. She's probably hanging out with her sister like she told me she was going to after she got her purse. All right. Well, good luck, man. I really hope that it works out for you. I really hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I do too. I have a feeling that you are. Riley, what are you doing here with Chad? Uh, uh, Patrick, it's not what it looks like. Trust me. Well, then what's going on? Why are you with him? You are you really are cheating on me. I can't believe this. Patrick, come on, please. I, I can explain. Yeah, why don't you just stop whining, Patrick? Because you look like a loser, man. Shut up, Chad. You're the one that looks like a loser. How can you steal somebody's girlfriend like this? And Riley, you said that you cared about me. You said that you wanted to be with me, not him. And I do, Patrick. I don't know. It's just complicated. It's not complicated. You lied to me. You said that you wanted to be with me, and you didn't. You were with Chad the entire time. <laughs> Look, Patrick, dude, you're starting to get annoying. So, like, why don't you just get out of here, okay? No, Chad, why don't you get out of here? Me and Riley are supposed to be together. I, I loved you. I, I don't know, Patrick. What do you want me to say? Yeah, Patrick, she doesn't love you back, okay? So why don't you just go cry to your mommy somewhere else? Because, like, we're hanging out here, okay? No, Chad, get out of here. I'm sick of you. Oh, yeah? You think you're sick of me now? You're going to be sick of me when I beat you up. Sean, dude, you were right. I went over to Riley's house last night, and she was cheating on me with Chad. I caught them. Oh, man, I'm really sorry. <sighs> Dude, I honestly wish that I was wrong, okay? I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either, man. I just, I feel bad that I was so mean to you about it, and my heart is just broken, dude. I loved her, and now, ugh, I can't believe that she's with Chad. Uh, don't beat yourself up over it, man. It's all right. You're going to move on. You'll find somebody else. I don't want to find anybody else. I want to be with Riley. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but I thought that she was the one. I could really see a future with us. Well, sometimes things happen, man. You got to roll with the changes. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, Patrick, can I talk to you? I don't have anything to say to you right now. But please, come on. I'm sorry. I just still can't believe that you did this to me. I know. It was a really bad mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. I love you, not Chad. What, really? Come on, Patrick. You're better than this. Don't fall for it. I do. I really do. I'm so sorry. I just... I don't know. Please, can you forgive me? Well, it's not going to be easy, but uh, I miss you so much. Can we try to work this out? I, I really want to be together with you. Yes, please. That's all I want. I promise. I'll earn your trust back. You've got to be kidding me, man. Don't do this. This is so stupid. You can't trust her. Shut up, Sean. No one's talking to you. You know what? I got other things to do. You guys want to be weird and do this? Go ahead, but I'm out. Hey, Sean, wait up. What's up, Patrick? Where are you going, man? I thought we were hanging out today. Look, look, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I can't believe that you got back with Riley. Is this what this is all about, man? You stormed off earlier, and now you're just gonna be like this? Look, I'm just looking out for you, okay? Riley's bad news. She doesn't care about you. She already cheated on you once. You don't think she's gonna do it again? It was a mistake, okay? She apologized for it. I understand sometimes people make mistakes. It wasn't a mistake. She made a conscious effort to betray you. And she lied to you about it. She would have never told you if you didn't find out. 
you don't know that, okay? She said she was gonna tell me. She said that she just felt so bad about it. Yeah, she felt bad because she got caught. How can you be so stupid, man? Don't call me stupid, okay? You're the one that's stupid. <laughs> Fine, if you really believe that, then go ahead, man. Have fun. Enjoy getting cheated on for the rest of your life, but I can't be a part of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to surprise Riley. I'm glad that we're working this thing out. I'm gonna take her to an awesome dinner. I'm gonna take her to the movies, and then we're gonna go to her favorite place ever and ride all the amusement park rides. Like, this is gonna be the most romantic date ever. Wait, isn't this Chad's house? What's her car doing here? Riley, what are you doing? Um, pa uh, Patrick, what are you doing here? Haha, <laughs> again, dude? Oh my God, you are so lame. Are you serious? Are you seriously cheating on me again? We just talked this afternoon! I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, Patrick. She's sorry that she doesn't like you. Shut up, Chad, okay? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of both of you. I don't deserve this. I'm better than this. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of easy. <sighs> you know what? I don't need this, and I don't deserve this. You two are terrible people, and you deserve to be together. I hope you live a long, miserable life. <sighs> Whatever, Patrick. Get out of my house before I beat you up again. Shut up, Chad. Your house is stupid anyway. Hey, Patrick, what's up? Look, I, I just wanted to apologize about everything. What? Really? Why? <sighs> Man, you were right. I went over to Riley's house, and she was with Chad again. My gosh, I told you, she's the worst girlfriend ever. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't make it any easier. I mean, why would she do that to me? Like, am I not good enough? Don't even think like that, Patrick. It doesn't matter. She's just a mean person. She doesn't care about anybody else. I mean, if she wasn't cheating on you, she's probably gonna cheat on Chad now, you know? Yeah, I guess so. I, I just, I feel bad that I didn't listen to you. I mean, I feel so stupid, man. Like, how could I be so dumb? I don't know, love's a crazy thing. I mean, it's easy to get caught up in something and not realize that it's bad. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just never want to go through that again. It makes me not trust anybody. Well, don't think about it that way, man. I mean, there's great people out there. She's just not one of them. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, can we be friends again and hang out? Yeah, of course, dude. We were always friends. You were the one being weird. <laughs> Shut up, man. You were the one being weird. All right, man. Well, I was going to go to the movies. You want to come with me? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. 